Hey, it's Olga here from olgadekterieva.com and Productivity for Scientists. This is where you overcome overwhelm, become more productive, get in charge of your day while feeling happy in your life. Today, I continue to talk about what to do when disaster strikes. This is part two. In the first video, I've shared with you the situation I went through a year ago, and this was for you to um, to maybe relate to it or just just really see what what kind of situations I really go through and really test those techniques that I share with you. And I also gave you um, uh, three. Uh, very simple but very powerful techniques to apply to the situation when you find yourself when you found something um, that happened in your life that really really affected you. It's either work related or life, you know just life outside work, and you just find yourself uh, shocked. You know maybe sitting down on the floor with your hands dropped down and really thinking, okay, how on earth I'm going to go through that? So I give you three. Uh, basic, simple, very powerful techniques. And and today I want to build up on that and, and really talk about uh, the time uh, when it's time to do the decision. So the um, topic of today's video is what to do when it's time to make a decision. Because sooner or later you will uh, find yourself in the situation and um, what I suggested in the first video is not to rush into any actions because it would be reaction to what happened and it's a danger that you would just do or say something that you will regret longer. It's just because it's just your reaction to what happened and uh, it's very natural that we want to somehow punish ourselves just because, see, or, you know, if it would be a good people ne never ever something like this will happen to us so it's just some it's just very natural that we do something uh, like an unhealthy make an unhealthy choices towards ourselves or people around us and then we regret them so that's why in the first video I did suggest you know refrain from any immediate actions and just really uh, you know sit with that and, and do some very you know, uh, do these exercises that lead you to to start feeling better and not punishing yourself for lack of actions but at some point um, sooner or later you will feel that you're ready to look at your situation and do something about this and it took me um, uh, actually a few weeks last year so it actually took as long now as it took me now to, um, you know, to to talk through this in this part two of the series, it took me a few weeks to just um, get into the state where I was able to face it and and do something about it. And so I just wanted to share with you to say that it's okay. And 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 luckily I didn't do anything that I was I could would regret about that I just really I did my daily task about for looking after children looking after myself and not really acting on that so so when when you do feel like are uh, you're ready to do something about your situation uh, when something uh, like really big and bad happen in your work and life, I just wanted to really share a few, um, a few techniques on that. It's, it is a very, very, very difficult situation because you, you feel like you, you need to do something or you want to do something about it. And yet we often do things that, you know, we, 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 we regret later about or we feel like, I don't know what, what I should decide. I don't know what should I do. But the thing is that you do want, you do know. Yeah, when you feel like I don't know what to do, I don't know what to decide, you do know it's just very, very scary. So you end up saying, I don't know. So 
when we work with uh, with my private clients, Anna, we talk about this, and when they say, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to decide, and we talk about this, and I, I can see that they know deep inside there, they know what to do, it's just very, very scary to face it and to admit that. So the process I've, I've developed throughout these years, how to deal with the situation and the following, is that you really sit with your situation, and you almost like you take stock of it, you know, you kind of list, okay, that's what it is, you know, without no judgment or resentment, it's just what it is. And in, in contrast, I would invite you to really accept that and really maybe seeing, you know, a few positive things of the situation that you first uh, would overlook because you were so upset about what happened. So just, um, uh, just to, to tell you, you know, why is it so useful? Because once you do it, once you really list what the facts of your situation, without drama, without judgment, what happens is that uh, you suddenly start seeing uh, opportunities. You suddenly start becoming clear of what is it that you want to do. So um, just to give you an example of uh, of my own experience a year ago, so it's been already a few weeks after I, I did find out that um, I got fired from the university and just a few weeks before that uh, I found that um, I'm expecting another child and my husband just rushed off to, to his family to sort out a few very urgent things and my um, it's basically my, my lawyer that I, I was working on this, if that my immigration status, he basically more or less refused to continue working with me because the situation of me not having that job, he just said he can't do anything anymore for me. So, and that was, you know, me sitting there and listing all that and kind of, okay, that's what it is. And, um, then I've shared with you, it is also very good to just see and notice any positive aspects of your current situation. So the positive aspects of my situation was that actually I didn't need to urgently leave the country. Actually, I did have this permission uh, to remain. Even I didn't have any documents on. I mean, it sounds strange, but that's the law. So it was good to kind of read up on the law and, and know that I didn't need to leave the country. And I and this was the one very, very positive aspect of my station. And the other was that I could actually continue working in my business. So I had a permission to work in this country, which I, I'm sure a lot of you know what it means, a permission to work, because I know a lot of you uh, do find yourself in different countries, not in your country of origin, and the, these issues do come um into your life and I did have a permission to work on my business so I could continue this was very very positive aspect of my situation while it's easy to overlook when you're so bogged down into what just happened what the wrong things just happened in your life so I would invite you to do a, a similar thing as well and 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 the, and the third thing I would would like to talk to you about today is really um, think about what you want to do, what do you want to decide, not from the place where you are right now, but from the place where you want to be. So uh, naturally, once you've done these two steps that I've just des described, you know, get, uh, you know, um, list the facts of your situation and accept that and then a uh, list of the, the positive aspects of your situation then you start like kind of listing pos you know uh, <clears throat> probable uh, po possible things that you could do and you know you could do that from the place not where you are right now which is not a very good place if something wrong and bad just happened in your work or life, but from the place where you want to be. And this is a practice, it's a, it's like a skill that you can learn how you can imagine yourself being in a better place in some way where you want to be, how you want to think things to be while you are here right now in this mess. 
Okay, this is a skill to practice and there's a lot we work through with my private clients with like amazing results. So, and that was me there, really like listing possible things that I could be uh, deciding and doing. And they were like returning to, to my um, uh, place of origin and, and live, live with my mother or next to my mother. Or we going on to to my husband's relatives because they we inquired and they had like a place for us to stay and all this. So there was there were options and it was good to actually realize we that we have some options. And and yet I I knew that the way I wanted to be is something different and I started to get clear and clear what is it that I want to be and undo and from that place i made uh, two decisions that i actually acted upon in just exactly a year ago and that was um a take a loan and a pay for the pro uh, for the private coaching with my mentor because i knew i wanted to be supported and i want to go for where i want to be i wanted to grow my business i want to be really really are uh, strong and positive myself so that I can continue serving my clients and you, you know that a year ago I just continued serving you and my private clients and it was very very strong because I decided that I wanted the support and I've just finished paying out the loan a year uh, you know a year later just one installment left to pay it off and and I'm, I'm here now, you know, my practice is full, my clients are just raving about the result they are getting, and we, we moved, we moved to this beautiful house. And the other decision I made was um, to actually go for a new, a different lawyer. So I paid, obviously, double, <laughs> you know, I paid for the first lawyer with whom we didn't, we couldn't continue anymore because he's, he said, because of my situation now, they, they wouldn't be able to help me. So I decided, yes, I am taking another lawyer. Someone just recommended me and I'm paying him and he did a marvelous job and he applied for me and seven months later I got a confirmation that about my status and everything so okay that's all for today I just wanted to summarize it and give you productivity for scientists assignment for this week is as this and it's all about the time when you're ready to to take uh, to make some decisions and when you're not if you're not ready go and listen to part one yeah it's I'll put the link below as well so when you're ready so these are the three steps the first list the facts of your current situation without judgment without drama but just really accepting that's what it is and not accepting and, and kind of surrendering that nothing ever good gonna happen in your life but accepting and out of this place the opportunities will come up, so notice new opportunities. So the second one is list positive aspects of your situation, which you probably would have overlooked otherwise. And they are, trust me. And the third one is a more proactive step, is really when you list the possible decisions and possible actions that you could take uh, make a decision not from the place where you are right now, but from the place where you want to be. All right, this is all for today, and we'll continue talking about that in, in the third video soon. Bye for now. Bye.